28 years old, a suicide bomber, took her life in Iraq. Jennifer Abramson joins us from Chicago. She is the author of Sweet Relief, the Marla Rosica story. Jennifer, good morning. Good morning. How did, how did you and Marla meet? We met in Afghanistan, which is uh, a bit ironic because we were both from Northern California uh, originally. But we met uh, at a press conference for the United Nations. Uh, I was a spokesperson for the UN at the time. That was in early 2002, right after the Taliban were fled, fled from the country. And, and Marla and I met there. She was waiting up front, handing out her own press releases, trying to get the media interested in civilian casualties of war. And you say you uh, both from Northern California. Ironically enough, she was from Lakeport, and your parents, I believe, had a summer home uh, there on Clear Lake. I mean, your paths never crossed there, but they certainly did in Afghanistan. I know they did there, and uh, I think one of the reasons I was so struck uh, by Marla and so impressed by her was not only because of the courageous work that she was carrying out, but because she was from such an isolated part of California, really, which I was very familiar with. So I was very intrigued by her story and, um, and her background and where she first received her training, which was in San Francisco, which was where you know, we were both, both more or less from. Yeah. What was her mission in Iraq? What did she really want to accomplish when she was there? She started out uh, collecting data on civilian casualties of war uh, during the first months of the war in Iraq in 2003. And her goal was to go door to door, hospital to hospital, to meet families, to find out those who had lost mothers and fathers, uh, loved ones, um, had their homes damaged, or uh, often they were harmed and lost limbs. And her goal was to get these people compensation, to get them assistance, from the U.S. government and from the, the military, and she was a tremendous champion for, for their rights, and she was very successful in the end. There was a phrase you used in the book that uh, was simply dropping the name Marla in Iraq open doors for you. She was well known and very effective at what she did. No, she was, and I think one of her, her secrets of her success was her her guilelessness. She was completely sincere. She was completely uh, dedicated to her cause. She was very friendly and outgoing. And I think everyone was touched by her. And they were touched by her work and, and her conviction in trying to make a very desolate place a little bit better. And I think um, that, that her support was well won. Yeah, a very outgoing personality. Kind of describe for us what it would be like if Marla were to burst into the studio right now just to say hello to all of us. What kind of person was she? Um, she was extremely vivacious. She had a loud, booming voice. Um, she was very friendly. She would walk up and hug an absolute stranger. She'd probably give you a big hug and say thank you so much for you know being, uh, being in support of her and more importantly for supporting um, the innocent children who were, were harmed in Iraq and Afghanistan. Yeah, how did that work over in Iraq though? Because you also describe her as um, you know this kind of a blonde bombshell in a way that would go into like the Arab markets with a, a braless and a tank top and wearing shorts which how did that play out there in that country? I think she turned a lot of heads no matter where she went, whether it was in Washington, D.C., Baghdad, or Kabul. Um, I think people were, were struck by her at first, and they were confused, possibly, but they saw, once they realized how sincere she was and saw the big smile on her face, even if she didn't speak any Arabic or any other of the local languages in the country she went to, people understood that she was a friend. I, she was a fantastic ambassador for the United States, I think, over there. Because she, she saw that there was some good coming Yeah, from you, America. you certainly portray her as that smile opened a lot of doors for her, and people seem to love her. There's so much more to talk about. Unfortunately, we're out of time because she had another side to some de a demon she was fighting on her own. But you can actually meet Jennifer in person. She's going to be at Borders Books in San Francisco on October 17th at 6 p.m. She is the author of Sweet Relief, the Marla Rosica story. Jennifer, good talking with you this morning. You too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Time now is 8.41. Let's go back to the desk.